Like as you saw from uh, Central Command yesterday, Iran-backed Houthis launched a complex attack of one-way attack drones, anti-ship cruise missiles, and an anti-ship ballistic missile into the Red Sea. Yesterday afternoon, President Biden was briefed by his national security team, and that included the National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, Secretary Austin, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs General Brown, and Secretary Blinken, all on the latest developments in Israel and in Gaza, uh, but also, of course, these attacks by the Houthis in the Red Sea. Thankfully, due to some exceptional work by naval personnel aboard the aircraft carrier USS Dwight D. Eisenhower and the destroyers Gravely, Laboon, and Mason, as well as uh, a ship from the United Kingdom, the HMS Diamond, there were no injuries and there was no damage reported. But make no mistake, at the time, U.S. vessels, commercial and military, and dozens of other merchant vessels were transiting in the area of this attack. Had they been hit, innocent lives very well could have been lost. Had they been hit, innocent lives very well could have been lost. These attacks against vessels in the Red Sea pose a direct threat to lives, to freedom of navigation, and to global trade in one of the world's most critical waterways. And despite what the Houthis may say, they are threatening and targeting commercial vessels with ties to countries all over the world, many of which have no connection to Israel whatsoever. These attacks are unlawful, they're reckless, and they are escalatory. The United States has built an international naval coalition of more than 20 countries that are countering these attacks and protecting international commerce through what we now call Operation Prosperity Garden, Guardian, and that's what you saw happen yesterday. Unfortunately, that operation is required, and you can see the results yesterday, uh, uh, the, the need for those military capabilities. We've issued new sanctions on individuals and entities that are facilitating the Houthi attacks, and we're working closely with the, bless you, we're working closely with the, the UN Security Council members uh, to pass a resolution to show international solidarity on this critical issue. The text of that resolution, which will likely be voted on later today, unequivocally demands that the Houthis cease these attacks. It also underscores the Security Council's support for navigational rights and stresses that the transit passage of merchant and commercial vessels through the Red Sea must be able to continue unimpeded. And earlier this month, as you saw, 14 countries, including the United States, delivered the clearest warning yet to the Houthis, making it clear that they will, and I quote, bear the responsibility for consequences should they continue to threaten lives, the global economy, or the free flow of commerce in the region's critical waterways. The United States does not seek conflict. We do, we do however, seek the safe and secure passage of international commerce to the Red Sea, and we're going to continue to coordinate and consult closely with our allies and partners about the appropriate next steps should these attacks continue. We need to threaten lives, the global economy, or the free flow of commerce in the region's critical waterways. The best solution to this situation not escalating is for the Houthis to stop these attacks. Um, uh, in the interim, since they've shown no predilection to do that, we're going to do everything we have to do to protect shipping in the Red Sea, and I think I'm just going to leave it there. The AP has uh, obtained some videotape of uh, uh, shooting uh, in the West Bank, some Israeli soldiers probably shooting some Palestinians, uh, allegedly without provocation. Have, has the administration aware of this, uh, the shooting, and also what concerns do you have about kind of some of the uh, violence that you've seen in the West Bank and how that could escalate the conflict? In this, is the first, this is the first I'm hearing that report, so I can't speak with any... Uh, granularity about the level of awareness across the administration. This is the first time I've heard that, so I'll have to take that question back. But the president has spoken, I mean, from an early time, I mean, really early on, uh, about his concerns about violence in the West Bank and uh, that, uh, being perpetrated uh, largely by settlers with extreme views and how much he absolutely opposed that. Those, th that violence needs to stop. They won't speculate uh, about any potential future military operations one way or the other.